everybody, this is Retro Challenge Gamer. We're going to go through our Stage 7-5 Perfect Run, where we collect all the major items found on the stage in one go. For example, you can see the stat totals here for the stage of all items found to include the three pink coins, the various 10 plus coin pickups, and although not required in a Perfect Run, any one-ups found on the stage if possible on our Perfect Run route. So let's get right to the level. So, as long as you memorize what's coming up all throughout this first section, and you know what to do in each and every section of this under the airship sequence, there's really no cause for difficulty here. Because everything will happen in exactly the same way every single time, as long as you know what to do in each situation. Now, right around this point, there was actually a couple buzzy beetles, a pair of buzzy beetles that you needed to hop on to get to the next section. It ended up being way, way too hard, and I dumped the idea completely and just added a couple more platforms hanging underneath. So once you get past this little interesting area of timing, which I did not do, the idea of the pair of buzzy beetle actually came back for the first pink coin, where you actually had to use it to get to it. But yeah, not too much to find in this first area. It's just surviving, really. This second area has a couple interesting things of note. You'll probably have seen the first or the second pink coin right off the bat as you crossed over it during the initial run. But to get down to it, you're going to have to get in the way of more danger through these little skewer pillars, as I think someone called them. So overall, not too hard. But of course, you have this huge army of bullet bills on your tail. So the first thing to do is get rid of them if you want to go after this 10 point. Which is actually a little more difficult to get than I was expecting, because I actually failed several times during the recording of this. I thought about putting something up there in between the two pillars, but decided better of it. third and last pink coin is actually not that bad to get. However, if you hesitate too much, it gets harder and harder to snag the thing, so... So patience is the key here. Okay, you're probably not going to get to the pink coin before the first one on the left pillar gets smashes some of the platform you're on, but you can definitely get it first thing once the pink coin comes into view along with the second skewer pillar. And I did that horribly. The real true bright side to getting all three pink coins in this level is you don't have to face Ludwig. He is literally one of the hardest Koopa kids in this super world of mine. You just skip them all together and have to avoid him at least once to get to the top of the goalpost. And that's uh, Ludwig's War Dreadnought. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs>